Microsoft 365 Admin Center is a web-based portal that allows you to manage Microsoft 365 services. It provides a centralized location for managing user access, licenses, and security settings. In this video, we will review where to find your Microsoft Customer Agreement billing account and how to purchase, remove, assign, and cancel subscriptions in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. First, log into Admin Center using your credentials. Now, let's review your Microsoft Customer Agreement billing account. When you accept the agreement, a billing account is created for you. You'll use your billing account to track the costs of your subscriptions and manage your billing. Each billing account has at least one billing profile that lets you manage your invoice and payment method. In the left navigation, go to the billing heading and select billing accounts. Now, click on the Microsoft Customer Agreement billing account. On the billing accounts detail page, you can update the name of your billing account and your sold to address. You can also assign billing account roles and view all the billing profiles associated with that billing account. Let's start with the billing account roles. This is where you decide who has access to your billing account and what they can do. You can add or remove users and assign different roles to them. When you click Assign Roles, you can give users an owner role, a contributor role, or a reader role. The owner has full control over the billing account and can assign or remove users. The reader role will have the most limited access and only permits viewing the billing account. Now, let's look at our billing profiles by clicking on View Billing Profiles Associated with this Billing Account. You may have one or many billing profiles. Click on the billing profile you want to review. Here, you can edit your billing profile name edit or replace your payment method, and choose to receive invoices in email. Now, let's review how to purchase services. All services are associated with the billing profile on your billing account. Click on Purchase Services in the left navigation to view recommended services available for purchase. To purchase Microsoft 365 Business Standard, scroll down to the product and select Details. From here, we'll select the plan, how many licenses we want to purchase, the subscription length, and the billing frequency. Then select Buy to place your order, or Buy again if you've purchased the item before. Now, let's click on Your Products in the left navigation to see all the subscriptions you've purchased from Microsoft or third-party providers. Click on a subscription to see more licensing details. With the Microsoft Customer Agreement, you can increase the number of licenses at any time. On this screen, you'll see the licenses available, how many licenses are assigned, and how many are still available. First, let's look at how to assign licenses. Simply click on the Assign Licenses button. From this screen, we will again click on Assign Licenses and navigate to the pop-out to the right. Here, you can enter the email addresses of the users who will be assigned licenses. Then click Assign. To unassign licenses, click on the box next to a user's name and select the Unassign Licenses button. Now, let's look at other important features for managing your subscriptions. Click on Manage Subscription Details at the top of the screen. Then click back into your Microsoft subscription that you want to manage. First, under Billing Settings, you can edit reoccurring billing to auto-renew when the subscription expires, or simply let the subscription expire upon renewal. You can also change your subscription length and see the billing profile to which the subscription is associated, with billing adjustments reflected on the next invoice. To purchase more licenses, click on Buy Licenses. You can buy new licenses immediately or when the subscription renews. You can also check your current quantity of licenses and choose how many new licenses you want to purchase. To remove licenses, click on the Remove Licenses button. Now follow the instructions to determine when and how many licenses you want to remove. Your licenses will be removed when your subscription renews. It's important to note that you can't reduce the number of licenses from your subscription 
if all licenses are currently assigned to users. To reduce the number of licenses, first unassign one or more licenses from users, then remove the licenses from the subscription. Finally, let's look at how you can cancel a subscription. You can only cancel and receive a prorated credit or refund if you cancel within seven days after the start or renewal of your subscription. If you cancel during this limited window, the prorated amount is either credited toward your next invoice or reimbursed in the next billing cycle. This concludes our overview of your Microsoft Customer Agreement billing account and how to purchase, remove, assign, and cancel subscriptions in Microsoft 365 Admin Center.